Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 18th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow Developer. So in the last video, we have dealt with the first use case of this complex script include thing that I'm completing three use case uh, with three videos. So I didn't make it in a single video. Otherwise, it would become, uh, you know, a very large video. So you won't get that interest in large video nowadays. I know that. So I have divided it into the three videos. And also you are getting some time to practice in your PDI and try to, you know, changing the value or changing the situation by your own way. And that's very important if you're doing that, right? That's a very good practice and habit. So I won't talk too much. I will directly jump into the use case number two. So use case number two. In the incident form, whenever you will select any assignment group, it will randomly assign the incident to any member of from the same assignment group and display it in the assigned to field. So that's kind of a complex one. And also it's very interesting, right? So let's go to my PDI and understand the use case and then we will solve it together. Okay. All right. So I'm in my uh, PDI right now. So now we whenever we will choose any, you know, any assignment group. Uh, this is fine. It's showing for the first use case. Now it will automatically assign a member from the network group. So we have maybe uh, five members. We can see that. So it will assign one of them randomly. Okay. It will choose one of them randomly. So manually, you don't need to choose that. That can also help you in a practical scenario. So if you have so many incidents in the, uh, you know, in your queue, so you're working suppose in a network group or service desk group, right? And like we have five members, probably you have 10 members, 20 members, right? And so automatically it will assign a random member. So it's actually helping you to make a decision. So I think the use case is understandable. So let's see how we can do that. So we are going to apply the same script include uh, and we are going to use a different function that would save a lot of time basically and we know that inside of a client callable script include or class based script include we can you know declare multiple uh, function and then we can call it from different places right that's a benefit and that's we are going to use so the next function that we are going to write so what actually how we are going to do it so basically same way we will send the assignment group now this time we will we need to return all the members that are available in a particular assignment group so we need to use the json Okay, so another use case of uh, using JSON object. So you would see that. And then in the client script, we will do some calculation stuff that you will see. So let's let's start doing it. Okay, so I'll create another client script and I'll name it as maybe this time assign group member. And I'll choose the table incident and type will be on change again. So I'll kind of a copy of uh, till this part so i'll go to the um, this one the previous client script so it will be same and we can use same variable name because it's that's a different client script so up to get xml answer uh, so i'm gonna do like this okay so maybe just for the complexity i'll change the uh, syspam name here so maybe i will say spam this time i'll type group name okay I'll pass the group name and also I will change the so I'll change the uh, name of the callback function this time group member. So I'll go to the script include and here I'm going to create another function. So this time I'm going to name the function as uh, what can we give assign members maybe assign members and uh, function. Okay, again, there's no parameters. So First, I will uh, get the group name. So this time I will choose the group ID. So again, we are doing the same thing, getting the uh, assignment group from the client script. So get parameter and here, what is the name I have used? So this time I change it. So this time I change it to syspam group name, right? So I'll come here, I'll choose syspam group name. So now we have the group ID storing the assignment group name. So now I'm going to do the var gr equal to new glide record again. If I need the group member details, so I need to use the same table. That's the sys underscore user underscore gr member, right? Same table. And here I'm going to do the query gr dot at query. So I'll kind of do the same. So group same group ID this time. Okay, now here as we need to get all the members, we have to use while loop, not the for loop. So first we will do gr.query. 
to execute the query and now while gr dot next okay and then here first i will declare an empty object that you know already i have shown you again in the last video like i said it was very very important i have explained you all these things so i'll declare an object now i will store two things first first i will store this society of the member so that would be the first first property society and i'll store the value I'll directly access from the glide record so gr.user so i told you so there's a user and there is a group two fields are there in the uh, gr member table so i'm going to access the user this time so i will store the society of the user first user so it's a while loop right so maybe service desk so first it will store the first user's society so gr.user will give the society and i'll use two string and now here second property that I'm going to use that's the name I need name of the user right so that would be gr dot uh, user user again now here we need to get display value right so get display value that's it so it's storing the society and also storing the name display value right and then we need to have uh, array declared so where gr uh, member And this is the blank array I will declare here. Now here I will simply use gr member dot push. Know that, and I'll push the member. Okay, gr member dot push. Now what I'm going to return is very important because the answer variable only supports string. So I need to convert this JSON object that I've created into the string. So JSON stringify, and now the JSON object stored inside of the array. So I will pass the GR member array. Okay, so that's it. That's from the script include. Now inside of the client script, I will go and here I'm choosing the sending the assignment group. So it's group name and I just make sure I've used the group name, group name here. So now, mm, now the return result, right? It's coming as a string. So first I need to declare the function group member that I need to uh, configure and response. So response is now storing the return string uh, value. So inside of the group member, what I'm going to do is that. So first I need to convert the string again to back to object. So JSON dot And then here I'm going to response because response is storing the string, uh, you know, this uh, JSON object in the string format. So I'll again convert it by using JSON per se to get back to the object. Now here we are going to do a very important thing. Here, what are you going to do? We are going to declare a variable because now the requirement is randomly it will pick any of the assigned to, okay, out of five, six, seven, whatever the assigned to is there, it will randomly pick. So for you, for choosing random thing, we need to use the math function called math dot random. So I'm going to do math sorry math dot random okay now math dot random you can see returns a pseudo random number between 0 to 1 so it will return a value between 0 to 1 but we want to extend this and we know 0 means the first member and 1 means the second member but it could be the case that there is uh, more member in the team right like 5 6 3 4 right so in that case what we want it will choose random number in between so i'll use a multiplication sign here multiply by the member dot length member dot length so length of the array right so if there's a 7 so it's 7 10 20 so it will choose any random number in between 20 in between 10 like that okay i think it's understandable but now math dot random returns it doesn't returns the whole number so it returns the decimal number so that we don't need a decimal number right because uh, the array index cannot be a dec decimal number so i'm going to use math dot floor another method that will help to convert it as a so you can see return the greatest integer less than or equal to its numeric argument right so it won't return decimal number anymore now in the random number variable we were doing the calculation getting a number starting from 0 to uh, maybe it depends on the length right 
now we will display it so i will choose g underscore form dot set value okay you know that in the assign to field okay and here i'm gonna choose member so it's gonna choose the member choose the array json array object so that's the member and i'm gonna choose here random number okay now random number is consisting of sys id and the name both the value right so it will choose member which is storing all the assigned to members uh, the name of the users who are part of the assignment group and then it is choosing a random number from the array index right so and we are displaying dot now we can display the sys id because assign to is the reference field and also we can pass the name directly because we have stored the display value in the name field right so i'm going to choose name here that's it that's kind of it also i will just make it more understandable so if again if there is no member so if member dot length right if member dot length is greater than zero greater than zero then this thing will work right very fine else we're going to do a else also here so let's make it more clear try it in the below line so in the else part in the else it will set g underscore form dot set value for the assigned to field assigned to field as blank okay so i think it's understandable this particular thing is very very important what we do the calculation so i'll come to the incident form right now and i will try to refresh it so now it will assign automatically it will assign any incident so i'll choose service desk oh it didn't work so let's do the debugging so i think i think i didn't change this one this uh because here i need to put the name of the function assign members here inside of it so it won't be grp member because grp member for the other function so make sure again this kind of mistake you can do also all right now it is calling the assign members function so i will refresh it again this time so i will give service desk again oh still it didn't work so again let's see oh great i didn't choose the field name very good it should be assignment group again so it's didn't triggering the client script right because i didn't mention the field name assignment group all right there is another thing we missed a bracket here so this is probably ending the so okay so this is ending the function but i didn't finish the script include that's why it is not working let's try that again so i'm gonna assign this time to service desk again you can see number of member in the service desk is three and the assigned to is the ideal user so we have different user like birth david lu so it choose ideal user so again if i so again if i refresh just to show you and choose again service desk and this time it should choose uh, different you can see it choose david lu this time so the random function is working perfectly so i think there is some problem so again i will refresh and try with service desk it's coming as david lu this time fine i will choose to network this time so you can see the assign to is not coming so i think this is because we were returning the name here because it's a although it's a display value we were returning but but you know assign to is a reference field and it actually support this society so i'll try to i'll i'll just try it to check if it works or not if it works then it should be an improvement right so i'll go back again i will refresh it because it should simultaneously change right so for an example let's start with service desk again it user this time perfect so i'll choose network you can see david dan is coming and also the number of member is coming as five now i'll change to other change to other like hardware you see now it's david lu i'll go back to service desk david lu again because service desk member is david lu also again go back to network david dan so you can see it is working perfect when we'll return the when we are returning the society right 
so you can use this id or you can try to you know even see uh by using display name so i think now it's clear guys practice it again and again and let me know in the comment section i need as many as comment possible that where whether you are able to success it or not especially the last one when you are changing the assignment group if, if it is changing right so this is all about the second use case guys thank you so much and we'll see you again in the next use case like so three use case video so i've just divided it in different parts so that one video cannot you know become very large or something like that like the video if you find it helpful again comment and do do not forget to subscribe the channel see you in the third part of the complex script include bye bye take care